What's, What's up, Panthers? Panthers? I'm Dane. And I'm Chloe. Today is January 29th. And here are, are your morning, morning announcements. announcements. Today's clubs are Activity Club, Second Lunch, and B106. Science Olympiad Club in First Lunch, D108, and si Second Lunch, D209. And Drama Club After School in D104. Today's high school vocabulary is for you plan. A four-year plan is a high school course plan incorporating all courses needed to stay on track for graduation. Four-year plans are student-specific and while may incorporate requirements for all students. They vary depending on diploma, university, or career track student goals and student interest. We have some videos to show. Roll, Roll the clip. clip! Monday, I will be returning a rough draft of your students' four-year plans. Before I do so, I want to provide a few insights about this momentous occasion. Crafting a four-year plan is an essential part of your student's first year of high school. It will not only set the stage for their academic journey through school, but will help them visualize it in a more tangible way. It's important for students to create this kind of plan early on because they'll have a better understanding of the classes they can choose from. By definition, a four-year plan is a schedule that outlines every course required to graduate in each semester of one's four years of high school. However, it is important to understand that a four-year plan is flexible, customizable, the main goal is for your student to visualize the years to come and understand what courses or other requirements they need in order to get to graduation. With a four-year plan, your student can even see where and when they can slot in some fun electives in areas they are interested in. If you have any questions or want to set up a meeting concerning your student's four-year plan, I'd love that. I consider it a huge honor to be part of your student's journey, and I'm extremely grateful for every student that is sent my way. Hey Panthers, February 6th through the 8th, we'll be selling Valentines. You can buy them for your friends at the amphitheater. They're 50 cents each, and you can buy as many as you want. We will be giving them out the week of Valentine's Day. Peace out, Panthers. Good morning, Panthers. Hope you had a great weekend. I know you guys are all super excited to see Mr. Yunk again on the microphone talking about all of his stuff. But, you know, you're just going to have to wait because I'm going to take a break this week. I know you're heartbroken, but Mr. Thompson's going to take over for me. All right, guys, just a couple updates for you coming this week. Uh, first thing, Monday through Wednesday, look forward to a friendly competition between grade levels. We're looking at tardies. So get your classes on time. There will be a reward coming for the grade level with the least number of tardies. Um, also, we do know of our dance coming up February 9th. The theme is Under the Sea, um, so look for more information about that. Don't forget, though, Panthers, we need to have at least 90 merits. I'm sure our merits will be posted in the future here soon. Another thing to make sure you get there on time, make sure you're doing the right thing in the classroom. Um, last but not least, uh, during the winter months, we had a little bit of break from cut ice. They will be coming back here shortly, um, so excited about that. We'll give you guys more information as we get closer to that time period. I think that's it. All right, Panthers, have a great week. Hey Panthers, we have a dance on February 9th. It's under the sea theme, so wear ocean colors. Tickets are $5 at the door. The dance starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 8 p.m. Students must have signed permission slips to enter. Students must have 90 minutes to attend the dance. Students must have their ID cards. Students without ID cards will not be admitted or will be admitted last. Art and dances are closed dances, no guests allowed. All school rules will be in effect, including dress code. Refreshments and snacks will be available for purchase. Students must have been present at school the day of the dance. Students must not leave the dance early without a parent or guardian present at pickup. Students with behavioral issues must sit in the office or be sent home. Please pick up students promptly in the Arden parking lot after the dance. Hey Panthers. This week, Arden is doing a grade level challenge with a reward. The grade level with the highest percentage of on-time students leaves five minutes early for their lunch. Panthers, make sure to get on time to your third period every day to leave five minutes earlier for lunch. Peace out, Panthers. We're, We're back. back. Remember to keep your phone and your backpacks at all times. Make sure you're not running in the holes. And make sure to buy a yearbook at myschoolbucks.com or talk to Ms. Betzler as it costs $20 until April 1st. That's all for today. Peace, Peace out, Panthers. Panthers.